بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس سکس اٹس اے انگلش کلاس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ دا ایکسرسائز آف یونٹ نمبر ٹو سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ اوپن یور برکس پیج نمبر ٹوینٹی فور آن دس پیج اے پارٹ کوشچن از چوز دا آپشن دیٹ کمپلیٹس دا میننگ آف دیز لائنس سو یو می چوز مور دین ون آپشن ناؤ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس as you have taught the whole uh, poem very uh, clearly and uh, i have explained all the points so it is very easy to understand all these statements for example the first statement in morning dew night sleep now this statement is from the poem the first two lines so first you read out these two lines from the poem and then you can guess what it does it mean so it will be very easy to choose the best option so same all these statements you will read out one by one from the poem and then you can choose uh, by yourself the best answer and now at the end you can match the answers with the answer sheet Okay, now on page number 25, B part is think and answer. Sometimes when we do not get answers to certain questions, it really bothers us. However, sometimes we are afraid to ask questions because we feel we might appear foolish asking them. Do you think one should keep one's doubt to oneself and not ask questions to avoid being laughed at? Express your views. Now, I we should not feel nervous to ask questions, but keep one thing in mind, first way, then speak. Okay, now on the same page, part C question is, appreciate the poem. The poet has used onomatopoeic words and words denoting movement. In the poem, list these words and discuss what kind of an effect they create. Now first we clarify what does it mean. Onomotophic words are the words that sounds like what it is means. Uh, for example, moo sound, M-O-O, moo sound is like a cow sound. Same tick-tick sound is like a clock sound. So same we will check the words that the poet uses in the poem. Now these words are snuffs, to and fro and dribble. All these are different kinds of movements that I have earlier explained in the poem. Okay, now the second question of the same part is read the poem in morning dew again. Write down the main idea of the poem. Now you can see the main idea is written, uh, written over here. In this poem, the speaker looks at the world through the eyes of Scarecrow who observes everyone surrounding itself carefully but even the Scarecrow is bothered by questions. So, poet comparing us to Scarecrow that we should not hesitate for clarification okay now turn the page on page number 26 now on this page under the heading create the question is listen to the sentences for contractions write down the full full form of contraction in each sentence now for uh, for the answer of this question at the end of the book you will open page number 180 on this page under the heading in morning dew there are eight sentences now in each one sentence for example the first one you can see there is a contraction form for example the first word is y o u apostrophe double l you will have to work hard now you will is a contraction form of the word so the question is that you will write all the these contraction form in its full form so first of all you underline all these contractions in these uh, sentences and then 
you can uh, check the answer with the answer sheet